I used to have really bad acne and now I have perfect skin in comparison, but that's how it feels these days. And after optimizing my skincare routine over the past decade, here's what I do daily to keep my acne prone skin healthy and glowing. I start by washing my face with Panoxyl Acne Face Wash because it has 10% benzoyl peroxide and if you have sensitive skin, they also have a 4%, but I need extra strength and I've been using it for years now and it doesn't dry out my skin and it's also pretty inexpensive. I just spread that out on my wet skin with my fingers and then use the most iconic face brush I've ever tried. It has three different speed settings, different brush heads, and the coolest feature is that it has a red light therapy light built in and you can also switch to blue for killing acne causing bacteria when you're breaking out, but these days I use red to increase collagen, improve scars, slow aging, and decrease inflammation. It's a small amount of light, but it does add up, and I also use a large machine at home once a week for a full treatment, but I thought it was a really cool feature and find the exfoliation on the fastest setting to be perfect for my skin, and I love doing several different skin treatments, but that's a whole other video, so back to my basic daily routine. After rinsing off the face wash, I tone with either Youth to the People's Kombucha Toner because it has glycolic acid and can help brighten dark spots, but I think it was discontinued, but the Pixie Glycolic Acid Toner is the OG, so I recommend that one, and I alternate that with the Glow Recipe Cloudberry Toner, which is great for dry skin, full of vitamin C, and contains the CoQ10 antioxidant. So one to two pumps of that is good to cover your face, neck, and chest, and I'm just patting it everywhere to make sure it's evenly distributed and putting any excess skincare on my hands to keep them healthy and help slow down the appearance of aging and sunspots. Next up are serums, and I think everyone needs some vitamin C in their skincare routine routine because it's a powerful antioxidant that helps protect against sun damage, promotes collagen production, and reduces hyperpigmentation, which was so important for me because I would have some after every breakout and it could last for months. And the most effective and stable form of vitamin C is ethyl ascorbic acid. So that and the good reviews is why I chose this one. And I'm on my second bottle really loving it. It absorbs easily and quickly into my skin and I use it at night so the sun doesn't break down the product and have it lose its effectiveness. During the day, I like to use Kiehl's 5% Niacinamide Serum, which is a type of vitamin B3 which doesn't break down from sun exposure, is soothing, hydrating, and has antioxidant properties. Sometimes I like to layer my vitamin C serum with my morning serum, which I like to switch up every now and then, but right now I really do like this one. Next up is moisturizer, and right now I'm loving the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Triple Lipid Peptide Cream, which is a bit on the thicker side, which I prefer, and it has glycerin as a humectant to draw moisture to your skin, and ceramides that protect your skin barrier. I think it's the right amount of hydrating and creamy, and I'm always looking out for really hydrating products. This is the most incredible retinol to me because it actually doesn't irritate my skin or break me out like all the other retinols I've ever tried, even low strength ones. And right as I almost gave up on retinols, I found this beauty and I use it every three days on my face and as often as I like on my hands, neck, and chest, which are less sensitive areas. And it does an amazing job just plumping up my skin and making it feel so youthful and healthy. So I keep one one jar with my skincare and one jar by my bedside for my hands and always use it at night so the sun doesn't burn or break it down. Of course I'd never go outside without SPF on so if it was the day I'd use my current fave because it spreads so easily, absorbs quickly, doesn't leave a white cast and gives me all the protection I need. Next up is the Humble Vaseline aka Petroleum Jelly which is an important ingredient in the $380 La Mer Moisturizer and on its own is the best way to slug. It's super moisturizing, really seals in all of the moisture you just added and creates a physical protective barrier on the skin. It's also non-comedogenic, so it doesn't clog your pores, and I like to pat it everywhere and really seal in all that goodness, also adding a long-lasting glow to my skin. This is one thing I wish I tried a decade ago, so don't waste a decade like me and actually go try this now. The final product I use in my routine is a turmeric dark spot corrector serum oil, and it has a texture similar to snail mucin or bean essence, and I use it last because it's an oil, even though it kind of feels like part serum, but I've noticed how well this has helped speed up dark spot fading, and I gave one to my sister last year, and I just saw her. Her skin has improved so much, and I'm shocked at how hydrating and brightening it is while also being so inexpensive, and I made a folder on my Amazon store Front so you can find everything easily since some of these are really small brands. And this is light enough to wear during the day and if I want a thicker oil for night I like to use bio oil which can also help with post acne scarring. And now that we're done with face, neck, chest, and hands the last thing to hydrate is my lips and I am obsessed with Aquaphor on damp lips and it's the only lip balm I've used that feels like it fully sinks into my lips and hydrates my soul 
and the perfect thing to seal that in and keep it lasting longer is a lip oil and I really like the elf ones and the applicator is so fun to use. So that's my daily routine that saved my face and life. I hope you found this helpful and let me know if you want a follow-up video on the skin treatments I do because I could talk about skincare for years.